know y'all don't know a lot about me. But when I'm focused on some shit, when I want to get something right, I'm going to get it right. So, we finna do this shit. <clears throat> baby, 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 It's the cross step. It's the You did what I'm saying? It's the See I can do it. I just need practice, in which I ain't willing to practice. I want to smoke. Now that I'm drunk, I want to get high. Being honest, but hey, and I finally figured it out. I told y'all I was gonna get it. I told y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all. I'm going to ask my nieces about this shit. <clears throat> Monday. Y'all just don't know. I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> this is real hard breathing. I'm dead. <sighs> All I do is lift weights. I don't do no cardio. Nigga, I'm tired. So I'm gonna finish drinking. I'm gonna roll up. I'm thinking about walking to the store. Oh, I'm murder. Lord have mercy. <laughs> yeah, I have a good day. Stay by and be like, stay lit. And go have fun, man. Go, go live life. You're not doing nobody this justice by living life. You know what I'm saying? The more fun you have with yourself, the more self-love you experience. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here dealing with somebody that won't even tell me they going out to a concert. Because they scared of how I'm going to respond. When righteously, I'm going to be happy for you. But it's just how you... How you come to me with it? You get what I'm saying? If I just hear you hear about this shit through the grapevine, I'm gonna feel some type of way. But if you come to me and be like, "It's what, babe? I'm going to a concert tonight." For real? What concert? Okay. Have fun. You know, I don't like no blue shit, so I'm glad you didn't get me no ticket. Tell you about. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. You wanted me to to feel some type. I don't. I don't, Cassie. I don't. <laughs> I'm just still suffering from missing you. But as far as that blues concert, as you can tell, I don't go out. I don't like clubs. If you can't remember, I always tried to back out of us going to the club. Like the time I sat in the car. If you can remember, I always backed out of us going to the casino. If it wasn't like a stable thing, if I felt like we wasn't stable enough or in our right mind, 
no, I would have never chose this for us. But if you are, you already got a ticket. I'm happy for you. Like I just wouldn't. I knew I would have never chose this for us. I'm appreciative of stuff like just the thought that you want to take me on a cruise with you. Just the thought. The whole little vibe we had that day was good. The day she was talking about taking me on a cruise with her. You know, that whole vibe that day was good. You did what I'm saying? It was a whole vibe because she was being herself. You know what I'm saying? Like, she wasn't monitoring or holding back or, like, when she thought of something, she was able to be pure and enthusiastic about the thought that just came across her mind. You know, she just was in a more pure state of mind. So, like, I just have to ignore the stuff that's going on right now and more so just figure out different ways to make myself happy. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no point in being, ain't no point in beating myself up when I know, and I know my intentions are pure. Like, what I look like. <laughs> then... When I keep money, I could buy five tickets. I could buy 50 tickets. I'm just going to show y'all one bill of each. I ain't going to do too much. I could buy plenty of tickets. I'm not doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to see a five? I ain't got no 50. But y'all y'all want to see a five? There go five. I got plenty Plenty of money. Plenty of money. Plenty of money. Them ones. That's from my receipt the other day. Them ones. Five. I got plenty of money. I got a check. For $285. I got plenty of money. It ain't about no money. <laughs> it's literally about the principle of... Just love, bro. Like, put it like this. Every time I get paid or every time I get some money, first person I hit up is my girlfriend. Now, this the way I am in any relationship. I hit up the person that I'm with. Because why? Because of how I look at love. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even got nothing to do with them, really. It's just the way I... Respect love. So, you know, I can't be mad if she don't feel the same way. This, that third, fourth person don't feel the same way. I'm not finna let it change me. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I know I get reckless with money. So, shout out what you want first before I get, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't tell them how long this money gonna last. Cause, so, what you want, get that out the way. This, that, and the third. And I got money on my card. I'm not going to order no more food. I told myself not to order no more food because I already got food. So I think that's the route I'm going. I think I'm going to refurbish this Indian food. I ain't even put it in the refrigerator. I think I'm going to refurbish it. I think I'm going to refurbish it. You know, like, um... Cut up the chicken a little bit, saute it, add some water, add some different herbs and spices and shit. And then make some more rice. Yeah. I really want some um Captain D's. But I probably wait till tomorrow to get some Captain D's. I I ain't gonna lie. Every day I, I wait to see if this the day that I can eat. I probably will be able to eat dinner with my baby. I do this every day. So the days where I I don't, it be a little disappointment, but it's like I can't be mad I have to keep reminding myself I can't be mad at her. She not looking at it how I'm looking at it. She not thinking about it the way I'm thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? I can't be mad at her. All I'm doing is 
be dealing with the like the effects that it's having on me, you know, you know what I'm saying? But I have to, you know, that's why I don't stop. I'm always walking, talking, showing my teeth. If I'm not too depressed or too sad, I'm always telling myself like things ain't really what I would have seen. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like we dealing with hurt, we dealing with pain, we dealing with suffering, we dealing with torture, we dealing with all type of shit. You know, so yeah, I don't blame my baby. I mean. Honestly, I hope her fine ass have a good ass time. She just better not touch nobody. <laughs> like, don't disrespect our relationship. It ain't even about disrespecting me. Just don't disrespect our relationship. You know what I'm saying? But then at the same time, you have to let somebody be exactly who they gonna be. So even if she cheat on me, that would tell me everything I need to know. You know what I'm saying? I want somebody that's going to show their true feelings to me. You know what I'm saying? I want somebody that's going to be their self. I want somebody that's in love with me just as much as I'm in love with them. If she's not, I need to know that so I can move the fuck on. But I know she is. Like, if you watched my videos earlier, I talked about it. She was in full lovey-dovey mode when I called her. But the fact that she got on the phone with her boss, her boss made her feel like shit. She just, her pride and her comfortability, she was at peace when I when I first called her. But by the time she talked to her boss and whoever the fuck else she was crying to, it's like, I didn't matter no more. Like, all we had going on didn't matter no more. All she could see is how she posed to be acting towards me, not how she naturally want to be acting towards me. You know what I'm saying? And I just hear what it is. Like, like I said, I can't even, I righteously can't even account that. I just have to ignore it and wait for my baby to come back. You know what I'm saying? Like, She's she's always gonna be there, but I have nothing to do with this guard that she puts up. You know what I'm saying? So I just have to, you know, wait and be patient for her to move out our way. Out our way. That's the whole philosophy I was talking about. Loving somebody. I got to see how, how far I was on this video, though. Like, y'all trying to... Man, I done talked about this relationship for a long-ass time. I ain't got time for that shit. I want to have fun. Fuck it.